Now, on the Pethiagora pages today, scientist, conservationist and public policy advocate Rohan Pethiagora reflects on the eight months since then. Rohan, what are your observations of the eight months that have passed and uh, since our new president was sworn in? Now, in the eight months that have followed, I think even those of us who despise Rani Vikram Singh have to accept that things have gotten a lot better. Between him and Nandala Veera Singh, the governor of the central bank, they've administered strong medicine to the people and to the economy. They hiked interest rates, they slashed imports, but they stabilized the situation so that medicine is working. But the problem is that the patient is impatient. And so we have new protests and the focus of protest has now shifted from political rights, from the economy to the need for elections. And that's what threatens stability in the months going forward. But if this unrest continues uh, without good sense prevailing, what is it going to do to the even keel that we are now experiencing? I think what the protests and the elections that are coming will do is it will see a strong resurgence of the left. This happens in all economies that have problems. People tend to look at social well-being as uh, the priority. And as a result of that, we will probably see the, the JVP, the far left, uh, scoring very high points. My worry about this is that it will destabilize the next 18 months of government. Because remember, we will have Rani Vikramasinghe as president until September of next year. And when it is clear from this election that he really has no popular mandate, despite having done all the right things, he's, he's a, a thoroughly disliked president. In fact, he's a dislikable president. And for that reason, even when he does the right things, as he's been doing in the past eight months, people will not appreciate it. They will still want a change of government. And that will destabilize the government going forward. So are we that short-sighted? Sri Lankans never miss an opportunity to miss an opportunity. And I think we will miss this one too. So we will go into the next government, the next president's term, with a massive local debt in addition to the foreign debt. Because remember, we are running a deficit of two and a half trillion rupees a year the last few years. And that is accumulating in the form of local debt. And so some government in the future is going to have to print the rupees to pay off that debt or cancel that debt. And then we're going to have economic instability all over again. So the, the long-term future is not bright, but in the short term, I think we should enjoy this Indian summer in which we find ourselves right now, where the rupee is appreciating, imports are becoming freer, and the economy is slowly stabilizing.